welcome back to my youtube channel if this is your first time here karibu sana my name is divan sogweno and this is divan's empire hoping you're doing well from right where you're watching us from because this is that channel that gives you exclusive content that you cannot find anywhere else apart from here now in our video today we are going to do a recipe we are going to cook mashed potatoes and beef stew now mashed potatoes this is one common food that is normally eaten or mostly consumed by the kikuyus one of the major tribes in kenya it is one of the favorite foods and today i want to share with you the recipe on how to prepare it mashed potatoes and beef stew so without wasting much of your time these are our ingredients our potatoes they are already chopped and into small pieces to help them get ready quickly uh, we have our beef here we have onions here we have garlic we have tomatoes here as well as uh, other spices i will use curry powder and uh, this is tomato paste in this case this is all that i am going to use simple recipe these are all things that you can find out here nothing is from heaven all these things can be found right outside your door so let's get into the cooking right away so let's cook the first thing introduce your pan into your fire add enough oil make sure the oil is enough then the next step is to add your onions in this case i'm using a lot of onions if you're a boy you know why we use a lot of onions because they increase the sperm count well that is what my biology teacher taught me back in the days when i was in school so the white thing that you've seen me add there that was onion uh kitungu saumu how do you call it in english garlic and then the next step is to add curry powder. This is my secret ingredient. I love curry powder. Well, the secret in it, I don't know, maybe because of uh, the chili taste. The chili taste it normally has. So I mix it with the onions at this particular stage and um, let them cook at the same time. I prefer when it roasts and gets brown together with the onions at the same time. So <clears throat> I keep on turning, I'll keep on turning and keep on turning and turn and turn and turn. Then when my onions are brown, golden brown of course, I will add my <clears throat> already chopped tomatoes. As you see my tomatoes, I normally cut them into cube, cubical sizes. Why that way? Because uh, they will quickly get ready. Then the next step, I will add my uh, tomato paste. I normally add it at that point so that it can get ready with the tomatoes at the same time. You keep turning, keep turning, keep turning, and then give them time to get ready by covering them. Cover and give them time to get ready. Once the tomatoes are ready, the paste is smooth and soft. Add your um, potatoes that are already chopped into small pieces. Keep turning, keep turning and make sure that every part of it is well prepared. And then add enough water. Enough water. If you hear me, enough water. Now this is where many of us do go wrong. We don't know how to approximate enough water. That moment when you think that you have added enough water, that is when the devil keeps on telling you, Ogweno, ongeza kidogo. Ogweno, just add a little. Just add a little. I kept on adding little by little. See? Add a little. Add a little. I'm continuing adding. Hmm? At this point, my conscience has already told me that that water is enough for the, the soup. But an inner voice keeps on telling me, oh, going to add little, add little more water. Until, oh, everything is now floating. Now it's like a swimming pool. Now, 
add salt enough salt useke mingi just little little is just enough to help the food uh, have some taste then cover and let it get ready for some time how will you know your potatoes are ready when you keep turning them the way you sing me turn them and then try to see if uh one of them is soft just collect any of them randomly up on the sufria just zungusha like a loto and then just pick any any and then you'll find out whether it is soft if it's not soft let it continue cooking once it's soft it's ready now see my inner voice some voices keeps on telling me had more soup ongeza tufu ogwena ongeza tufu now see i added more soup even when the food was ready ready all right i hope for the best the next step is ensure that your meat is ready our meat was ready boiled so the, uh, I, i will just give you time to heat up then i will take uh, our potatoes and sieve the excess soup out of it so that is what i'm doing right now i'm taking the excess soup out so that i can start smashing my potatoes and this one is one challenge you know i added a lot of soup yes the water was soup so i'm not sure that it's going to backfire or not go back to our meat once it is dry add enough oil enough oil not too much not little enough then add your onions and as i have always said i love onions you should love onions too add some garlic these two things onions and garlic these things are really good things to every woman should learn the secret to increase the uh, sperm count in their men well what am i speaking right now and then you also saw me add curry powder i added enough enough just to help the food get ready actually they usually say if you have any type of spices any kind of spices you are supposed to add them at that time when you are onions are getting ready so they can roast together with the uh, the food that is cooking or in the oil so you add your tomatoes when uh, your onions are ready your meat is golden brown add enough onion uh, tomatoes then add a little you know uh, tomato paste just for color and flavor and that is what i've done so i usually after adding them that way i give them time to cook by covering them and you make sure the tomatoes break after they are broken and the paste is soft and smooth add water that is what i have done i've added water into our food and i've covered it to let it cook let's get back to our potatoes time to mash them mashed potatoes from the name mash now what i'm doing is mashing them i am mashing them i have to grind them nasiaga aregogi i you know and yogi mayom mayom that is what we say in our language <clears throat> so that they can be soft you are supposed to keep doing this until your potato is soft very smooth no hard particles should be felt it should be very very soft very smooth so you will keep doing this you keep turning using a wooden stick do this continue turning continue turning or going to continue turning but i will at this point i was starting to get worried why is it that it has refused to get solid do you know why because of that soup that the devil lied to me to add and now i have a lot of soup left here but i still have an a lot of soup you see my mashed potatoes is so liquid but then let's see if it will lose its taste so i pick my white plate a white plate is good for this occasion because it will make the uh, food look so beautiful i serve it on my plate just enough for myself now this mashed potato was supposed to be solid not liquidish the way it is so it it backfired look at our food our beef stew is ready the soup is red and um is it even thick well it didn't get thick but it looks yummy that is the way it looks like on camera it looks so good every ingredient was on point except for the soup that my mind kept on lying to me ogweno add more soup ogweno add more water ogweno add more water until the whole food 
was a mixture of you know it became like people have ever gone to mombasa and seen how people swim at that lake in in the ocean people are crowded in the ocean that is the way my potatoes were looking like inside that soup now it's time to eat shall we eat in peace shall we eat and we are eating I know by right now you're seriously, seriously laughing. Yes, my enemies have succeeded in um, making this food not come out how I wanted it to be. Now, as you've all seen, this, uh, the potatoes, the, they were supposed to be solid, more solid than they are right now. Now it looks a little bit liquidish, but then it hasn't lost its taste. It doesn't lose its flavor. Everything is on point. That is the procedure. What happened is that I did a lot of soup. I left a lot of soup while uh, extracting the extra soup that was there. I over approximated unknowingly. But then that is the procedure. Hoping to see you next time, guys, after when I will be doing a repeat of the same recipe. Make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel. Turn on that notification bell to always receive an alert of every video that we do upload in our YouTube channel. Until next time, this is Divan's Empire. End of discussion.